Hey, Mark. WIBX calling. Hey. We'll, we will be right with you, okay? Okay, I'll be ready. Thanks, Mark. Mm -hmm. Saying you're bragging about the fact that you said it. <laughs> well, technically, I, I don't think you're right, but right because I said the name was. We're gonna out. we're gonna know within the hour. Believe me, within the hour that of who it is and what what it was about. And we're learning right now, according to the New York Post, that uh, they're claiming, according to an unidentified source at NBC, that this happened during the Olympic broadcast in Rio right. in 2016. It was a female NBC staffer, and a source told Page Six, which is an affiliate of the New York Post, an NBC staffer came forward with a claim that Matt sexually assaulted her at the Olympics. There have been rumors about Matt having affairs with subordinates at NBC for years, but those were believed to be consensual. This incident in Rio was not. Also, there's another report out there that says that various news agencies... So numerous news outlets. Numerous. So they were making a move. They were making a move. All right, Mark Sargent is a man who says he can prove to us that this whole thing about the earth being round is just a big bunch of hogwash. It's not true. The earth is flat, and here he is to talk about it. Mark Sargent, good morning. Hey, good morning, guys. So how do you account for when I look up, I see the stars? You are looking at the inside of a planetarium, and I know that kind of dates me when I say that. So okay. all, all the world's a stage. You're in a giant soundstage, a studio, as it were. The Truman Show from 1998 with Jim Carrey. No, you had referenced that earlier. Yeah, I that. did. So, so, what ha so it's possible to be on a boat and crash into a wall and puncture that wall? We're, we're in a dome like that? No, no, no. It's not, it's not that easy. <laughs> It's not like you could just take a boat, a sailboat like like Truman, and go out there and punch it yeah. into the side of this thing. No, the Antarctic coastline and the Ar Antarctica is, is sealed off from all corporations. Look up the 1959 Antarctic Treaty. But when you get out there, it's a 200 foot wall of ice, not necessarily Game of Thrones type stuff, uh, straight up. And then the whole continent comes up to plateaus it up about 14,000 feet and goes in inland for thousands of miles. It took uh, the United States Navy almost 30 years to find the outer marker. Okay, and who built this, by the way? Wow, you're jumping to the big ones already. Uh, I, I, <laughs> it's like it's too, too really going to get into that. It's so early. Uh, the one of two ways you could go with that: either we're talking about an advanced civilization, you know, much much greater than ourselves, or you know, intelligent design, handprint of God type stuff. But it definitely was not built by us. This thing is way way older. All right, Mark, why? Why, if the Earth was flat and we can prove it, would everybody, scientists, government, whatever, go on saying that the Earth is a sphere? Oh, yeah. 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 Why would you hide it? I picked up one out of every ten questions I get or fall along that line. This isn't yeah. like the Manhattan Project, by the way, where you have hundreds of thousands of people building the atomic bomb and everybody kept their mouths shut because, you know, we were in a war. Yeah. With this, uh, it's really, if there's a better example of need to know, uh, I can't think of it. Meaning, you almost nobody knows about this. 99.99%. Scientists don't know. Pilots don't know. Uh, even yeah. mo most of your wrench turners at NASA don't know. All The only guys that need to know are the telemetry guys and their okay. bosses. So very, very limited. Oh, yeah, I'm sorry. But as far as why, though, it's because yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. the underlying subtext, um, if it was built then there was some sort of creator, which means, that I'm not defining God here or anything, but uh, it means you're not alone. And there isn't a government uh, anywhere that wants to, people to know that. The whole underlying subtext of any government is you need us. Yeah. And that goes against it. And you are, though, what is interesting here, correct me if I'm wrong on the reading that I've done, you are in belief that we did land on the moon. No. Oh, good Lord, no. no. What no. notes are you reading? Sorry. <laughs> no, no, no. The, uh, the American... No. Notes this morning. No, that, be weird. That's okay. okay. The, the, um, it's it's kind of like the Mission Impossible line. No, no, it's way worse than you think. The American okay. space program, any space program, the only reason it was created was to keep this thing under wraps. We did, There's no coincidence. We discovered the outer marker around 1956. NASA was formed in 1958. The Van Allen radiation belts were announced in 1959. And the Antarctic Treaty was put in place the same year. They sealed off the outer edge and the upper edge. Nothing. Do not believe any space program you you'd ever yeah. hear, including SpaceX, by the way. You know what I, I've always found it, uh, odd is there aren't a lot of movies out there. There really aren't a lot of movies out there about us reaching the moon. 
right? No, no. In fact, that was the first clue I ever did, which was called The Empty Theater. And I thought I was kidding. I'm a big media guy. I love movies. I've gone to a whole yeah, bunch of them. Yeah. And yeah. what it basically saying here is, look, look it up. There is literally no movie, I don't care if it's straight to DVD or not, that covers the Apollo program. There's only two movies that even touch on the subject. One is uh, The Right Stuff from 1983, I mm -hmm. believe. And yeah. then it won a whole bunch of Academy Awards, never had a sequel for no reason. And then uh, Apollo 13, which was the only great, great movie. mission that never even landed on the moon. It just circled the moon. Yeah. Houston, we have a problem, that whole thing. And it was all shot in the capsule. So that whole Houston, we have a problem thing was just crap. This is crap. Oh, yeah, it was just to get it yeah. was just to get ratings up. I mean, think about it. Yeah. The the Apollo program, Apollo 11 through 17, supposedly went through the deadly Van Allen radiation belts with no shielding. Nobody died. Nobody got uh, radiation poisoning. Nobody even got cancer on the way back with no shielding at all. Uh, aluminum, you know, lead and gold are the only things that can block radiation, except for a lot yeah. of water. They didn't do it. Uh, Medansky, you seem completely annoyed. I just uh, you are a non-believer. It's Mark. okay. It's, no, it's all right, Mark, yeah. Go Mark, ahead. W w when you get to the outer point, you said they drew up. I'm going to mispronounce what you said. I'm going to mischaracterize what you said. Mm -hmm. They drew up boundaries, or basically outer an outter district, a border. Right. Right. They Talk more about that. What is that made out of then? That's that's a tough one. Uh, take your take your pick. I mean, is it a soft barrier or a hard barrier? Is it electromagnetic? Is it harmonic frequencies? Is it a heavy element? Is it a heavy water? I mean, if yeah. you look at the biblical stuff, you know, the firmament, the waters below, above, and the waters below. Whatever it is, we can't punch through it because that's the first thing they tried to do uh, in 1958. The United States mm -hmm. and the Soviet Union changed their atomic weapons programs and only fired straight up or at, at angles for four years. Hmm, interesting. Uh, I have so many questions. Yeah. So, I know. Has anyone <laughs> ever found this outer border? Has, I'm sorry, what? Has, has anyone, anyone ever, ever found Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, border. civilians, no. I have absolutely no doubt, though, that Richard Byrd, the United States' youngest admiral of all time, uh, made admiral at 41, he was looking for it for 30 years. They sent him missions from 1928 until it, really his death in 1957. He found it absolutely. I have no doubt in my mind in his last mission that he ever did was Operation Deep Freeze from 55 to 56. And everybody got off the ice at the same time. It was like the whole place was ready to make money. Everybody shipped off and then they sealed it off for, for all time with the Antarctic Treaty in 1959. You can go there as a person, but no corporation in any company, no matter how much money you have, no matter how much money you yeah. bribe, you cannot go there. Mark, so if you fly from, let's say you fly from Japan um, and you go, I guess it would be east, mm -hmm. and you keep going, you'll hit you'll hit America and North America. And well, you can still going. fly because it's a pretty tall ceiling, right? The, no, the ceiling, I mean, we're talking about, uh, I'm sorry, he's probably not talking about the ceiling, though. Go ahead. Yeah, go ahead. No, yeah, the thing is, you thought is if you keep going, you'll end up back at Japan. If you start at Japan, you keep going long enough, you'll end up back right. at Japan. Oh, yeah, yeah, the whole the Magellan argument. That is, if you, you know, can you go around the world? And that yeah. my argument is, is look, uh, if you put your finger, because we're talking about a flat surface, by the way, don't say uh, round. You really, if it's three dimensional, it's got to be ball or sphere or globe. A dinner plate is round. A hubcap is round. So if you take your finger on a dinner plate and make a big circle around it, technically you've gone around the dinner plate. Yeah. Does that make the dinner plate a sphere? No. And you're saying, yeah, but the compass and everything is like, well, no, the magnetic north is still the center. The compass still works okay. the same. See what you're saying. Yeah. Okay. What is outside uh, the uh, this big box that we live in? Take your pick. Uh, an unlimited yeah. dimension, more versions of this. I don't think it's a one-off. Uh, not, yeah. We're not also, I don't think we're the first people to rent this apartment. I think we're, you know, there's versions that came before us. There'll be versions that came after us. So, so for, like, for me, uh, I think they, there's more of these. Yeah. yeah. So you won't fall off the earth. No, because there's that boundary. Can't, there's not... can't, can't. It's like, it's like yeah. you might as well but, be a but, water in a shallow off. bathtub type thing. Yeah, yeah. All right, and it, so uh, are there people like how many people do you believe that uh, are out there that believe the way you do? Oh, a lot. A lot. <laughs> we, we, we just yeah. had the national convention in North Carolina. Have you done a robo call poll to determine <laughs> robo exactly how many? No, we probably should though. I can tell you this: that ninety percent, you know, flat earthers. I guarantee it right now. Ninety percent of our community are in the closet. 
they uh, they because they just don't know who to tell because you know they yeah. get weird looks. It's like friends, coworkers, family. It's like uh, uh, I get so many, but there's there's millions. I guarantee that. Uh, you remember, even if it's only one percent of the United States population, there's three million right there. <laughs> Do you think Jesus is behind all of this? Our Lord and Savior? God? Uh, at the God. very at the very least, let's put it this way. The the thi it, did God build it or did God subcontract out the work? Okay. That, that's a tough right. call because whoever built it, if we run into them, the first thing we're asked is, Hey, do you have God's phone number? Uh, yeah. they may not have it, but they'll be closer than we are. So yeah. we have a, we have a listener that tweeted in um, ask for a map. Do you, do you, do you have constructions or oh, drawings of? Oh a yeah, map? yeah, two dimensional and three dimensional. Look it up if you get a chance. Um, the you can either just type in flat Earth map into Google or the official map right now, the one that most people are using. I know people are doing advanced maps. It's yeah, called the yeah. Azimuthal Equidistant Map, and I'll spell it for you real quick: A Z I M U T H A L Equidistant Map. I got to tell you, you ought to do like uh, Google has the Google Street View. Mm -hmm. Imagine if you had a, 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 the an app view. like that would be the flat view of, yeah. uh, of Ooh, the whole thing. That's, that's not sure. bad. That's not yeah, bad. Because, Actually convert that yeah. thing into, yeah, that I'd would be good. I'd, I'd buy that. All right, All right Mark. It's, uh, it's been very interesting. Now, it is interesting to note that there are several NBA players that truly believe <clears throat> We just had interviews like a, I don't know what it is about the NBA. Do you have any idea? Oh yeah, I do. It's the road games. It's in fact all sports players. Baseball, I guarantee you, there's a whole lot of, of because they, you're on the yeah you're on the planes a lot and like you know you have a lot of time in your hands. Why not fall into a YouTube rabbit hole? Kyrie Irving, top of the NBA right now. Oh, love him. <laughs> love the fact that he's a flat earther. I, I do want to ask one. I'd love to your your explanation here. Sure. How do the how do the comets and the asteroids and all of that. How did I witnessed an asteroid, or, or it was a fireball going sure. clear across the sky? How do those get into the box? No, no, I got you, I got you. Um, anything except for asteroids, meaning stars, planets, comets. That's just part of the display system. You know, that's that's a top oh, of a okay. planetarium thing. Anything that's three dimensional and meteors are a tough one or asteroids. Uh, it would be like just throwing a rock or a little pebble into an aquarium type thing, you know, shallow trajectory, make it real fast. How close, how close did Kim Jong-un get? Because that rocket yesterday went straight up. How close did he get to the to the ceiling? Oh, not very. I not get to remember the, uh, the, 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 the high end on the atomic testing of the United States and the Soviets did were about 400 kilometers and that's yeah. a long that's a long way. So airplanes, no, spy planes, no, your average rockets, no, but you do have to look at all rocket trajectory, including NASA, how they go horizontal usually before hundred miles. It's fascinating if you look right. at the time lapse. All right. Any other further questions, anybody? Well, um, your definitive piece, if there was one piece that you said this is what does it. It is. Go to the beach uh, with a HD camera. Look at a any anything off in the distance, like a sailboat, a lighthouse, a building, uh, a sailboat. You know how we say, oh, they go over the horizon. Fine. You see that boat go over the horizon? You crank up the zoom on your camera, and all of a sudden, it's back in frame. It goes away again. You crank it up even more. It comes back in frame. That's impossible mm -hmm. in the curvature of the Earth. It should be on the other side of the hill. It's not a mirage. HD technology yeah. has really changed anything. Let me end with this. If people say, why can't you see from San Francisco to Japan? I'm saying if you pull off the atmosphere and you had a decent enough telescope, I think you could. I'd love to get up there and see all the helium balloons, balloons hanging up there. Just kind of <laughs> yeah. up at the ceiling. Yeah. They all kind of cool, isn't it? Yes. yes all it right, uh, Mark Sargent, I've been amused long enough. Thank you for your time. I appreciate it and have a wonderful day, okay? You, you too. All right. Keep Healing. fighting the good fight, Mark. Fight I will. Fight. And keep getting those clicks on YouTube because you're making some dough. <laughs> Nothing wrong with that. All right, thank you. All right, bye-bye. Uh, Mark Sargent.